Yeah, yeah, what's happening in the world? You know what I'm saying? It's Soldier Track Slip. You did coming back at y'all again with another uh, Fog Life. You know what I'm saying? Episode, you did. This is uh, Cloud 4. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know what I'm saying? We just kick back, keeping it cool here again. You know what I'm saying? Tell my people out there that may be having a tough time, you know. Just try to keep it cool, you know what I'm saying? Just press upon that, you know what I'm saying? And soon enough, it'll come through for you, you know. But, yeah, man, <clears throat> I just wanted to kick back, sit back and talk about love whatnot you know what i'm saying and everything <clears throat> i mean like a few years ago you know when i first started like really running at this and really started you know pushing that to the door like love over everything you know saying all this cool all this love like making all these fb posts facebook statuses and stuff like that and on these other uh social media sites just posting about love and you know a lot of people back then, like maybe 2014 15 something like that 13 maybe even too a lot of people was just talking about you know um don't uh don't somebody don't love love and get you killed show no love love and get you killed all this crazy shit like this and like i always thought that was just crazy for people to feel like that like how can love get you killed you know if you fucking around with the wrong person or some shit like that that can get you killed but like love ain't what's killing you what's killing you is you hanging with a motherfucker that you ain't supposed to be hanging with type shit like that you know so yeah it's just a lot of people you know don't really understand about about, you know what I'm saying, love, just because you love a motherfucker don't mean you have to attend their birthday parties or you have to uh, uh, accept their friend request on some uh, social media site. You don't even have to communicate with them. All you can do is just, you know what I'm saying, pray pray to them for the Lord and hope things be better for them, you know what I'm saying, and just let God handle the situation and just actually be forgiven and shit like that. That's love. Like, you ain't really got to, you know, Hang, answer a motherfucker phone call when they call you and shit like that. You can be totally distant from a motherfucker and still have love. Especially if a motherfucker fucked up, how can you interact, inter, interact with that motherfucker when, you know, they tripping? You, so you, you gotta just have your space and be able to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't, it ain't love that'll get you killed. It's, you know what I'm saying? The evilness, the wickedness that's in the world that'll get you killed. You know what I'm saying? The enemy that is upon us. You know what I'm saying? It ain't love, but, you know, I just, you know what I'm saying, I remember, you know, I used to, when I first started, like, jumping in the Bible and shit, and I stumbled across Corinthians, you know what I'm saying, First Corinthians chapter 13, you know what I'm saying, that look for everybody who, you know what I'm saying, be doing their thing as far as running towards Christ or the, the kingdom of God, they already know about that chapter and everything, but basically that chapter is about love and shit, and, um, you know, just since then, it's been helping me, you know, come from a lot of shit that I was told. You know, I come from a lot of evil shit. Like I say in a, one of the other uh, clouds, I was speaking about how I used to, and how I used to fuck, you know what I'm saying? Back in my teenagers, I was fucking with Cutthroat Committee, so the Slim. And as a kid from like eight years old, you know what I'm saying, all the way up, I was fucking with the hot boys and shit. So as a kid, I was hearing all this type of shit as a jit. And by the time I got a teenager and I fucked around and hopped off the porch type shit or whatever shit like that, I was already murdered out. Like, it was already, like, you know what I'm saying, sealed in me spiritually and my mental. Like, I'm about splatting it like a brain's loose. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, it don't matter if you're kin to a motherfucker or whatever. It just was like... It ain't matter, you know what I'm saying? If you cool it, you cool. If not, it's just like it's just it was just like that. You know what I'm saying? That mentality was just, you know, like cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it, it, that's what it was. Like that's the only thing I was interested in. Like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, be into money or they be in it for the girls. Like I was just straight up like, you know, I wanna cut throats and, and, and cut off hands and fingers, you know what I'm saying? Cut a bit stomach open and take out their intestines. Like I was on that type of shit, you know, I wanted to, to to be a serial killer, basically, I wanted to be an assassin, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers drop off like a million dollars to, you know what I'm saying, I was just on some other shit when it comes to that type of lifestyle, and like love really helped me get rid of that shit, you know what I'm saying, just following behind love, like always saying love is all this cool, all this love, like all that type of shit, you know how they say, you know what I'm saying, the things you speak, you know what I'm saying, coming to being, like how we you know what I'm saying, like how words are powerful and shit like that, I can kind of lend to believing that now because, like, by me just running out the love like that, that shit helped me jump from that shit because, you know, even now to this day, I still have trouble with, you know what I'm saying, having thoughts of murder. Like, I'm always want to, you know, do it, you know what I'm saying, run that down. But so that's why I keep myself 
just I keep myself clear and I make sure I keep following behind love. I make sure I, I, I keep, you know what I'm saying, reminding myself of, of love and shit like that and forgiveness and all that because, you know what I'm saying, that motherfucker can have me upset quickly and then I'll be out there ready to, you know. So I just try to really keep myself together just in case, you know what I'm saying, I jump into a position where I'm financially set. You know what I'm saying? Then I can go buy all the guns and all the shit I want. You know what I'm saying? Then, so it's like, I really want to, you know what I'm saying, get myself together before, if that end up happening for me, because I don't want to be getting angry and then like, fuck it, I'm finna go buy explosives and shit and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like crazy shit. So, you know, I just wanted to speak on love and how powerful it is and how it really can't help. You know what I mean? Like, because nowadays, people just, they ain't fucking with that shit. Like, they like, because of, you know, my, Motherfuckers been in a relationship probably and they got heartbroken or some weak shit like that or I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had to have the happiest life. You know what I mean? Like I can go through some shit and, and pick out fucked up shit, but it's just mentally I'm just strong to be able to handle that shit. And I can forgive whatever or whoever, like, but it ain't no matter, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's my mentality is really not in this world the way that they built this world for us humans to live in in this society. Like my my mentality isn't here. Cause I know this shit is stupid, and this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I'm look, I'm looking for intellect. You know, I'm trying to like find some shit that's like, okay, this shit'll challenge me. Cause like this shit is just every day you wake up, this fucking time zone, you got this clock and shit. You gotta be here at this time and be like all that crazy shit. Like you gotta be on your job at this time, or you gotta go to bed at this time, or wake up at that time, or you gotta go here at that time, and all that dumb shit, like. It's like I'm I'm seeking for something different because I know it's some it gotta be something different out there if I if I'm sitting around back there looking for it and that's a lot of motherfuckers other mo- other other motherfuckers that agree with me like yeah you know what I'm saying they seeking the most high and and they seeking the kingdom of God they just seeking some other power like even people who don't believe in God or believe in Jesus you know or whatnot don't believe in you know that the Creator has created us whom created us you know what I'm saying they still believe in higher sense, you know what I'm saying, than this world, you feel me, but, you know, so hopefully they'll realize what's going on, and, you know, but, I mean, everybody got their own opinion to what they believe and what they trust in, and, you know, and all that shit, so can't really question them too far because of, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's like, I got put on game with what I got put on game with, and I got put on game with what they got put on game with, you know what I'm saying, so I can't really, you know, it's just... I don't know, man. It's it's crazy when you think about it like that for the for the atheists and you know how they come up with their reasons of why God ain't true. It's you know it's kind of hard to really. It's all about what you feel. You know what I'm saying? And I guess if you ain't never really felt nothing, or if you run off disappointment, you know, you I guess you can get stuck in that zone. But I'm just trying to you know reach out to the top way. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, love is is a is a very you know what I'm saying? Useful tool. Like if you start from the beginning, you know what I'm saying, and you just trying to figure out like what's going on. Like I, I guarantee you, God, God will shoot, shoot upon you many, many secrets and mysteries, dog. Like just by following love, like he'll, he'll come meet you and holler at you. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like it, it, it'll be fucked up though. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of shit gonna fuck with you. Believe that. You know, it's a lot of shit gonna fuck with you. Have you out your mind? Have you ready to? Have you angry a lot? Have you like? Have you feeling like fuck? Trying to follow love, like for real. But he gonna holler at you. He gonna come at you. He gonna he gonna fuck with you, for sure. If you follow behind love, man, guarantee it. You will you will see results. You will see you will feel the change inside yourself. You will feel yourself changing. You know what I'm saying? And happiness and joy will rush upon you, and you won't know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? This should be should be crazy, but yeah, man, I just wanted to put that out there. Speak on love, man, and just to let the people know, like, it's a right to remind the motherfucker that's already in love, that's already, you know, doing their thing, showing love, they, you know what I mean, being respectful to people, they're forgiving, just to remind them, you know what I'm saying, to keep pressing on and to keep pushing forward. But for the people that's just jumping in the game, like, just run out the love and all the other shit will, will jump onto you, all the shit you don't understand. You feel me? That shit gonna come to you. I'm telling you, because ain't nobody told me, I gave me the understanding of the Bible, about the the understanding that I have. Nobody but the Holy Spirit. I ain't sitting on no preacher, or no speaker, or no messenger, or nothing. Like, I've been reading the Bible, and, and the Holy Spirit was just telling me, okay, this is speaking about this and that. 
in, in the world now. You know what I'm saying? This is talking about this or this talking about that. You know what I'm saying? I just had that shit come through me. Or sometimes, you know, it'll come through other messages and speakers and shit like that. Some things have, but for the most part, you know, the Holy Spirit just told me straight up to my spirit, like, this is this, that is that. And, you know, and through love, I got there. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there, man. Follow love, man, all the way through the hope faith and love but love most importantly you dig but yeah the soldier the tracks love bouncing out this is fog life cloud four you know what i'm saying so yeah for my people out there keep it cool man continue to if you're already doing so yeah